Hello everybody, I'm Shannon from Nana's Workshop. This is Garden Talk. Hope you guys are doing well. It is mid-April, it's a beautiful day finally in Nebraska. So everybody's itching to get out and start some work. I'm gonna just get some pots planted and I'm gonna show you guys the, the way you put them together. It's kind of a helpful hint. Um, always remember a thriller, a filler, and a spiller in your pots. It really helps kind of put things together and maybe color coordinate. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do mine today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the two smaller ones first. I already have some potting soil in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more. And so, I am going to use some petunias. Some diamond frost as a filler. I also have sweet potato vines. I have the darker one for the larger pot. So I'm gonna set those over there. All right, so for the first one, I want my thriller, or my, my thriller. I'm gonna put two of them in there. I'm gonna use my spike. Get a big old hole in there for it. I'm gonna offset it a little bit because I'm gonna add an asparagus fern with it. Change my mind. No, I'm not. I'm just going to put the spike in there for now. Okay. That is in the center. And then I'm going to use three diamond frosts for the filler in the middle, around the middles. Offset them in a triangle shape. If your plants are really root bound in your pots when you pull them out and get them ready to plant, go ahead and pull them apart a little bit. Just crack that root that's all bound up. Crack that apart a little bit so that has that gives them um, freedom to expand in those roots. Sometimes they're too root bound and they're gonna continue to grow in that circle if you don't break that apart. All right, so now for the spiller. And I'm going to use the sweet potato vine. Now these are really root bound. If you can see that, I'm just gonna pull that apart. Kind of wake that root up a little bit. So I'm gonna go on the opposite side, in between the diamond frost. And then put another one in. Opposite that, I'm gonna crack that root open. It's okay to be fairly aggressive with your plants. It's all right. Now I'm just gonna come in and fill in some spots where that, to, because when you water, that's all gonna sink in and you want it to be very full with the potting soil because they it needs it. And today I'm using miracle Grow Moisture Control Potting Mix. Now in the front, I have another spot and I'm gonna actually not use a sweet potato vine, but something different. I'm gonna use a wire vine. I love this stuff. It's very cool to put in there to add to it. Really neat. So you're still planting in your threes, your odd numbers, your one, your three diamond frost and your three 
spillers. And then before you water, I'm gonna take Osmocote Plus and sprinkle these granulars around in the pot to fertilize for continuous fertilization. Now I'm gonna water it. Water that down. And there's one pot done. Now I'll move on to another one. This one is a little bit smaller, but it's okay. Add some more potting mix. Okay, and I, I'm gonna use my spike again. You just need something tall. You can use, um, like another kind of grass in there. There is a really pretty brown grass that's available. It kind of looks like it's dead. All right, this, look how much this is. I'm gonna go ahead and snip this off. Ideally, you can use scissors, but this works just as well. it's in the center. All right, now your three, your three fillers. You have your, or you have your thriller in. Now you need your three fillers. And I grabbed these petunias. So I'm going to fill this all in with petunias. There's six of them. So How I get them even is I just go one and then one across from that one. And turn it. Go on here. And do the same, one across from that one. These are really pretty purple. I thought that would be a really, really pretty color in there. And then your last one. And these petunias are called Tritunia burgundy. They're very, very pretty. All right, and next, now we need our spiller. So right now I may have to go get some more but I'm gonna go ahead and put this wire vine in the one side like I did the last pot and then I'll add petunia or uh, um, sweet potato vines on the other side like I did. So you just find your spot in between the petunias and add it to it. So anyway There's that one, minus the green potato vine. And then I have to water it. I'm gonna water it once I get the other potato vine in. Now the big one, the big one I'm gonna use something kind of different. I really like portaling. It's a uh, colored grass, but it's an annual here. Nebraska. So I'm going to get a little bit more potting soil. And make a middle or dig down. And now I've added some old used containers like this in the bottom. So you don't have to fill it all the way full of potting soil. It's uh, less cost and it, they actually make it lighter to maneuver around.
and put the pots where you want them. A lot easier to handle. So here is the, it's Albatross Quarter Line. That's a maroon colored, it's really pretty. So I have two of those and I put them in at the same time. And the roots, pull apart those roots a little bit. Wake it up. See, those are circling already. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just slice that off so they don't have a tendency to do that in the pot. Oh, there is one here too. There. All right. So I'm going to put them in side by side, just like that. Center them. Okay. Now, I know you're supposed to go in odd numbers. I apparently didn't shop enough. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do with these. Now, I'm going to go with um, the reason why I only have the two is because I'm gonna, this is gonna be the filler and it's a geranium and it's, I call it a pale, let's, here's the color. I think that's gonna be pretty in the center and look at the color of those leaves. So those will be all around as the filler. It goes with the maroon theme here I have going on because there's some maroonish in the leaves. There's one. And they're actually called a um, Vancouver Centennial Novelty Geranium. And then my last choice was the spiller. And I chose a maroon um, split leaf potato vine. These are really, really root bound. So I'm gonna get pretty aggressive here and pull that apart. So you just go in the opposite corners of your geraniums. And these are gonna spill over the sides. And I'll have to put that other one in. And then next, Add your Osmocote for the fertilizer. You cannot burn the plant with this. So, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. All right, and then you water it in. And there you have it, there's that one. Here it is, guys. Not pretty. There you go. So your thriller, your fillers, and your spillers. That's it for today for Garden Talk on Nana's Workshop. Bye-bye, guys.